This episode is brought to you by Onsego, creator of trusted online GED classes, including the calculator course. Okay, so the GED math test. I think it's safe to say it's something that a lot of people approach with a little bit of, well, you know, caution. It's understandable. Yeah, like if those math equations from high school are still kind of like floating around in your nightmares, you're definitely not alone. Definitely not. But what if I told you there's a surprisingly effective tool that you're totally allowed to use on the test? Oh. And not just any calculator. We're talking about the TI-30XS scientific calculator. It's true. And you might be surprised how many people don't realize the GED allows this specific calculator. Right. And it's not about replacing your actual math knowledge or anything like that, but it's more like having like a really like a super powered assistant right there in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. We're diving into the Onsego calculator course, and they really emphasize how this calculator can be a game changer, especially if math isn't your strongest suit. And you know what's really fascinating here is that the TI-30XS actually adheres to the order of operations, yeah. which can trip a lot of people up, even if they understand the actual math concepts. So for anyone listening who might have just blanked on what order of operations even means. Yeah. It's basically a set of rules that tell you what part of a calculation you do first. Exactly. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, addition, and subtraction. Remember PEMDAS. One, one tiny mistake in the order, and boom, it throws off the entire problem. But this calculator, it's like having PEMDAS built in. Right. So you can really focus on applying the concepts and then let the calculator handle all those tricky calculations. Yeah, it's like having that friend who's like a whiz at mental math. You know, just double checking your work for you. Exactly. But it gets even cooler. Okay. Yeah. The guide from Onsego gives examples of how the TI-30XS can even handle things like solving quadratic equations. Oh, wow. And factoring. Wow. So, like, let's say you have a problem about finding the dimensions of a rectangular garden, given its perimeter. Right. This might involve quadratic equations, which... Already, that sounds kind of intimidating. <laughs> it does sound a little intimidating when you put it that way. Yeah. But with the TI-30XS, you can just input the values and let it do the heavy lifting. Saves you time, reduces the chance of errors. It's like you're getting, what, like a sneak peek into the future? You're using the calculator for your dream garden later on. Exactly. I mean, who knows, right? This could actually come in handy when you're planning out that dream garden. <laughs> and what's really neat is that Onsego breaks down how to use the calculator for these, like, really complex operations, but in a way that even someone who's been out of school for a while yeah. can totally grasp. That's what I found so encouraging too. It's not about like becoming a math whiz overnight or anything. It's about you working smarter, not harder. Exactly. Go. You're not trying to replace all math knowledge, but you're leveling the playing field, especially if you've maybe struggled with math in the past or you're worried about test anxiety. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of test anxiety. Yeah. Can you imagine like starting that GED math test already knowing you've got this tool that can handle some of those tougher calculations? Right. It's like having a safety net. Totally. Like a little bit of a security blanket. Yeah. That lets you just like focus on what you do know. Exactly. Yeah. And it makes you wonder like, are the GED test makers trying to tell us something by specifically saying you can use this calculator? Right. You know, they could have just been like, use any calculator. Yeah. But they were very specific about this one. It makes you think about the bigger picture, doesn't it? Yeah. That, like the GED is really about, you know, demonstrating real world skills. Right. And a scientific calculator. It's a tool. It's a tool that people actually use in various fields. It's not just about finding the answer. Mm -hmm. It's about knowing how and when to use the right tool. That's a really good point because it's like the difference between, you know, trying to bake a cake completely from scratch right. versus using a cake mix. Yeah. You can get there either way. Yeah. One is definitely more efficient. Absolutely. Especially if you're maybe short on time or, you know, maybe confidence isn't your strong suit when it comes to math. And let's face it, confidence is key on testing. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. And that's where this whole like st strategic tool utilization idea really comes in. Yes. As recognizing that we don't have to reinvent the wheel for every single challenge. Right. Sometimes the smartest approach is to leverage the tools that are already out there. Mm hmm and learn how to use them really effectively. Okay, so let's talk about factoring for a second because that's one of those things in math that I think tends to make people kind of like sweat a little bit. Right, so factoring in algebra is basically like you're breaking down a mathematical expression into like these simpler parts, right? Yeah, so it's kind of like reverse multiplication. Right. And the cool thing is 
the TI-30XS actually has functions that can help you find those factors, which can be super helpful when you're trying to solve equations. So instead of like sitting there racking your brain, trying to remember all the rules of factoring, you can literally just like plug in the numbers <laughs> and let the calculator do that work. Exactly. Mm. And again, it's not about, you know, not understanding the concept. Right. You still need to get factoring. Yeah. Yeah. But the calculator can help you with those like nitty gritty calculation, right? Where the little errors can really trip you up. Exactly. Exactly where those errors can creep in. Yeah, it's like having a little, you know, math tutor looking over your shoulder, making sure you don't miss a step. Precisely. Right. It's not about cheating your way through the test or anything like that. Right. It's about using every resource that's available to use strategically. Yeah. To really showcase your knowledge and your skills. It's about setting yourself up for success by working smarter, not harder, mm. which is something I think we can all get behind. Now, this episode is all about exploring the OnSego calculator course, but I'm curious from your perspective, like what else makes it so effective? You know, one thing that really stands out to me is it's focus on just being super clear and concise. They use really straightforward language, mm. relatable examples. Yeah. Which is crucial for adult learners, right? who might not have been in a classroom setting for a while. Absolutely. And they do a great job of breaking down complex concepts into these like really manageable steps. Okay. Which makes it so much easier for people to digest the information and remember it. Right, because it's not overwhelming. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's like they've figured out how to make math less intimidating mm. and way more accessible. Yes. And they're very upfront about the calculator. Right. Being like a key part of this approach. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like they're saying, look, we're going to give you the tools. We're going to give you the know-how. You can walk into this test feeling like confident and prepared. Exactly. And that kind of support can be huge, especially for someone who might have had kind of a rough time with math in the past. Yeah. Or thought they were just like not a math person. It's about changing that whole narrative for people. Totally empowering them to see what they can really do. It reminds me of that saying, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Yeah. But in this case, they're not only teaching you to fish, but they're giving you like, you know, a high tech fishing rod uh -huh. to make sure you're like catching all the right answers. I like that analogy. It really it drives home how in Seago it isn't just about, you know, teaching you math for the sake of math. Right. It's about giving you a skill set. Yes. Something you can use in real life. That's what makes this whole deep dive so fascinating for me. It's not just about acing one test. It's almost like we're uncovering like a totally different way to think about learning and like problem solving in general. Totally. Like if a calculator, something we kind of take for granted, right, can change the way we look at something as challenging as the GED math test. Imagine all the other tools and strategies that are out there that we might not even be thinking about. It's like one of those aha moments where you're like, wait, I don't have to make this harder on myself. Like there are resources and approaches out there yeah. that can make this whole learning process more efficient, more enjoyable, all of that. Totally. Being open to new possibilities. Yes. And challenging those like self-limiting beliefs mm -hmm. that we sometimes put on ourselves like, I'm not good at math or it's too late for me to learn new things. Right. Exactly. The Ansigo just throws those ideas out the window. Yeah. Like. Come on, we got this. Yeah. So to wrap up this deep dive, the thought I'm left with is if a calculator can be this empowering, right. imagine what else is possible when we like really embrace this idea of strategic tool utilization in all areas of our lives. It's powerful, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it's learning something new, tackling a challenge, there are always going to be tools and resources out there to help us succeed. It's all about working smarter, not harder. Exactly. So for everyone listening, what's one area of your life where you could use a little strategic tool utilization? You know, what challenge are you facing where the right tool or approach could make all the difference? Think about it, because just like on the GED math test, a little strategic thinking can go a long way. It really can. And remember, everyone has the potential to learn and grow. Sometimes it's just about finding those right tools and support to help you unlock it. 